The competitive edge that Boeing has enjoyed with its Boeing 787 Dreamliner is in serious trouble. This is after airlines started scrambling for the ownership of the Airbus A330neo into their fleets. It is a development that has caught everyone in the industry unawares, especially considering many had initially written the A330neo off for its inability to compete with its closest Boeing rival. So why are airlines all of a sudden rushing to add the A330neo into their fleets? And what does this mean for Boeing? Stay tuned. In recent years, the Airbus A330neo has received quite a number of orders, much to the surprise of the industry. For instance, at the 2023 Paris Air Show, Airbus received orders for 24 units of the aircraft. The momentum continued at the 2024 Farnborough Air Show, where the European aircraft manufacturer announced deals for 15 A330-900s with FlyA, 20 units worth $7.4 billion with Vietjet Air, and another firm order for seven aircraft with Virgin Atlantic. In August 2024, another order for the airliner came in from Hong Kong after Cathay Pacific committed to 30 units of the 900 variant of the aircraft in a deal worth $11 billion along with purchasing rights for 30 more units in the future. Although these orders show an aircraft that is quickly becoming a darling among airlines, this has not always been the case. To understand what this means, we need to rewind time to 2014, when Airbus announced the development of a re-engined version of the Airbus A330. It called this aircraft the A330neo. The main difference between the classic A330 and the new A330 lies in the new engines and winglets that enhance the latter's efficiency. With new engines, Airbus was guaranteed anywhere between 12 and 15% in terms of fuel efficiency. In addition to that, adding sharklets guaranteed the manufacturer an improvement of at least 2% in efficiency. The development of the A330neo was not a walk in the park. When its rival Boeing announced the 787 Dreamliner program, Airbus was caught flat-footed and knew that it had to make a quick decision to counter Boeing's move. With that, the aircraft manufacturer decided to revamp the older A330 by adding new composite wings and engines that were more fuel efficient. However, this move did not sit well with customers as they failed to see how an old airframe would compete with a clean sheet aircraft. Airbus eventually launched the A350 program, which went on to become a success and compete with both the 787 Dreamliner and the 777. However, the success of the A350 led to another problem. With this aircraft, Airbus offered two variants, the smaller A350-900 and the larger A350-1000. Originally, the 900 variant was intended to rival the Boeing 7878, while the larger A350-1000-5100 was meant to rival the 787-10. Airbus had planned to offer an even smaller variant, the A350-800, but later decided against that move. Without the 800 variant, the Boeing 787-8 was left unchallenged. Many customers called on Airbus to provide a competitor, leading Airbus to revisit its plans for the A330. The updated variants became the A330-800 and A330-900. In 2018, four years after development began, the aircraft made its maiden commercial flight with Portugal's flag carrier, TAP Air Portugal. Since then, a total of 25 customers have placed orders totaling 356 units. However, most of these orders are for the larger 900 variant meant to compete with the Boeing 787-10. On the other hand, the 800 variant has received only 12 orders, a significant shortfall from Airbus's initial projection of 1,000 orders. Several factors contributed to the A330neo's rocky start. The timing of its launch was poor, as many airlines were still operating relatively new A330 classic aircraft. Additionally, the A330neo faced competition from within Airbus's lineup, with the A350 and A321 squeezing it out of the market. Despite its challenges, the A330neo has recently gained popularity due to its commonality with the classic A330, reducing crew training and maintenance costs. Its Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 engines offer impressive fuel efficiency, and its stretched cabin provides additional capacity and overhead bin space. Looking ahead, the A330neo's adaptability to both short- and long-haul routes positions it well in the evolving aviation market. 
With increasing orders and improved economics, the A330neo is proving to be a valuable asset for airlines worldwide. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe the channel. See you in the next.